Hey everybody, how's it going? Daryl here, welcome to the channel. So one of the main questions people ask me is about having a visualizer connected to SoundSwitch. Having a 3D visualizer is crucial if you want to develop any light shows of any complexity. If you're wanting to like do some really cool time-coded stuff, having all of your lights set up in your living room, blinding your family while they're trying to watch TV, it's just not the way to do it long term. So having a visualizer is very convenient. You can just work on it a bit, step away, and then come back and work on it while all your lights are just in your storage space, ready to go for your next gig. So the visualizer that I have mostly used is Grand MA with MA3D. A huge part because it was free, it's something I tried, it worked, but it did have some faults and I tried Capture SC and I wanna tell you about it today. So Capture SC is a third party visualizer that connects with SoundSwitch and it does solve a lot of the problems people have been having with Grand MA. First of all, Grand MA2 is way old. Grand MA3 is out and there's really not been a lot of updates for Grand MA2. And I've had people asking me like to do a tutorial for Grand MA3, which I just have not done because it's like completely different and Grand MA2 still works. And so Capture SC is sleek and it's modern and they're currently working on it. And, and unlike Grand MA, you can't create your own fixtures. So that's probably one of the downfalls. But if you message their support team, they will add fixtures for you. Because with Grand MA, you kind of were sorry out of luck. And a lot of times they were not putting fixtures that were popular with DJs. But you can send them just about anything. Something I know a lot of people were wanting was the gig bar. And as you can see, they have the gig bar 2, the gig bar move plus ILS, the gig bar move. And so that is pretty cool. And they have all the different versions of DMX. I just asked for the gig bar bridge. And to the joy of DJs everywhere, or at least they should be joyous about this, they have brands like Sheds, B Topper, both lighting, and even other brands they may see like on Amazon or eBay. So this is definitely great for DJs. I did mention Grand MA2 is free. This is not free. It's about 450 bucks. That is not an insignificant amount of money, but just remember that like solutions like WolfMix their 3D visualizer is not free as well. And this visualizer works with any lighting software as well. So you can use this with a different solution potentially in the future, as long as it has ArtNet. Another one of the great limitations of Grand MA2 is that it is Windows only. Capture SC is for Windows and Macs. So I have found it to be a little bit less intuitive. So I can navigate and create things and move stuff around, but it works pretty good and you get used to it. And so I thought about doing an in-depth tutorial about how to connect it and have it play nice with SoundSwitch, but they have really good documentation if you like reading the written word better. And they have a bunch of like short videos on their YouTube channel that you can just watch and it's like very easy to follow. So I just feel like it'd be redundant if I went too much into depth. So you can see I have a project here. I am working on something for someone. So we pull up SoundSwitch. One of my main issues with Grand MA2 is that it was difficult sometimes to actually connect and be reliable. I sometimes have to like restart it, run the applications as admin, close the applications and do it in a certain order. So it's a little bit finicky to actually connect, but I found that Capture SC is a lot more reliable. Let me just play an auto loop here. And as you can see, it connects. In this particular demo, I have a bunch of lights and I actually don't have all the lights because I need them to add them. So I'm kind of stuck. So I guess I'm making this video while I am unable to make any more progress. But yeah, it looks pretty good. You have like different like views. You can make one of them full screen. And something that I love, you can like dock this and have it all on a single screen. So you can be like watching Netflix with your family while you are like programming your lights on a single screen. So this is actually really easy to connect. It shows no device found right here which is a little frustrating, but apparently it's like still outputting ArtNet. And then you go into the universes tab here, you look at connectivity status, and you can see that's connected to ArtNet. So yeah, SoundSwitch is talking to this. That's pretty cool. And you can even see the DMX values for every single fixture. I didn't have to do any special settings to have this play nicely with SoundSwitch. 
I just opened it and it automatically connected. Um, sometimes I have to restart it to connect, but for the most part, I just open sound switch and it connects, and that is very valuable in my opinion. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I will probably add the sound switch shortcut to it. And one of the limitations of Grand I Mate is that if you have some of those, attrib those attribute cue style effects on your fixture, like if you have a ring light that does like certain animations or a laser that does like certain patterns that's solely controlled with attribute cues, the visualizer people aren't going to be able to put that into the visualizer. So there are limitations with that. And to set those attribute cues, you may have to bring out your fixtures and program them. While it can't do some of the attribute cues, it can do a lot. Like, for example, it can do like focus, it can do gobos, it can do prisms, rotations. So you can do a lot of the attribute cues. And on the Gigabar 2, I was actually surprised that it was able to do some of the things like do laser output and even some of those white LED macros. Although the macros weren't accurate, but it was still kind of cool that it showed you that the white LEDs on the top were on. I just want to make another quick note. I like developing my light shows with one screen running sound switch and one screen running the visualizer. And you can have the visualizer connected to sound switch. And I have a micro USB dongle right here and I have my light right here. This will be handy for me to program the attribute Q level stuff. For example, I'm gonna program the ring light. And so these control the ring lights. So this controls like the animation and the speed of the animation. And there we go. So I can like see it in action and I can play with the parameters. So make it slow, make it fast try a different one yeah for instance you can see the ring lights of these movers are on but they're not doing any animations but i have this plugged in right here so i can see and control and adjust the parameters but this still by and large saves a lot of time it makes it really easy so if you want to do complicated shows this is definitely the way to go because it's not always practical to bring out dozens of fixtures every time you want to program Especially if you have a gig, and you have to pack it all up, take it to the gig, bring it home, set it all up, and this is just a better way to do it overall. I also want to recognize that not everybody is going to find having a visualizer that handy, especially if you have like a smaller setup. Most people just want to have it like set up, done, and not think about it that much afterwards. So if you find yourself in that situation, having a visualizer might not be worth the expense. So yeah, that's Capture SC. I recommend it. I definitely think that if you're looking to do anything of complexity, you need a visualizer. And the fine folks at SoundSwitch, while it's been requested a lot, it doesn't seem to be very high on their priority list. So this just works. It's really not that expensive for the amount of value you get. I'll have a link in the description below. What questions or concerns do you have about Capture SC? What are your success stories or pitfalls? Let me know down below and please smash like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>